What is up, maniacs, and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great one. And in today's video, we're going to be using one of the most hated decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Of course, when you stop your opponent from playing, they hate it. But we saw this on Team Samurai's channel. We did make some changes to that deck list, but stick around to the end and we'll show it off. So, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to it. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers. And make sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys love playing these decks that people hate because honestly meta decks are easily hateable they just waste more of your time honestly but it's all good you could see it either way let me know what you guys think in the comments below but nonetheless let's hop right into the video Alrighty, for our first match we will be going first and even going second this deck works very well um, we do go first, so we're going to start off with Phantasm of the Monarchs. They're going to max C. We're not doing any special summoning, so jokes on them. Alrighty, we'll get Domain. Special to Fenrir. Use Fenrir's effect. Unicorn. Use Phantasm. Let them choose. We get the Prime Monarch. We get... Kashtira Theos says get another unicorn. Use unicorn's effect. Use birth. Summon the Vanity Sphine. Set the birth and pass turn. So now they can't special summon. And the Fenrir, we basically could just use effect. They've set five and pass. Okay, let's see. Use Fenrir's effect. Get Ogre. Use birth. Summon Ogre. Just gonna attack here to the face. Oh, we're going up against Labyrinth. Yeah, they definitely can't do anything here. They're so screwed. We're gonna pass turn. They're down to 400 life points. So we should be able to take this pretty easily, especially if they can't do anything. They don't do anything. So basically, their whole game, they just set cards and pass turn. So we're gonna finish it off with the Vanity Fiend, one of the really good cards in this deck so that was first game let's hop right in to the next one and for our second match we're going first yet again we have a little bit a different of a setup here we have malfreti malfright i don't know how you say this dude's name either way we're gonna pop him draw a card use that tenacity Let's get Domain of the True Monarchs. Okay, we're gonna get Vanity's Fiend. And now they can't Special Summon. Alrighty, and they can't get anything from the extra deck either. So we are big chilling now. We are big chilling. We're just gonna go ahead and enter battle. They take that and we get the buff from Domain. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty much Snake Eyes can't do anything about this board at all. Okay, we'll get Ether. We're gonna use that on Ether just because and then just attack him. Then we are gonna pass the turn. They get Ash. Okay, they get Poplar. And then they notice that, that they can't special summon it. So they hit that surrender button. Oh, holy moly. Super easy. Shut down. No special summoning. Yes, Dinah does the same thing. But with this, there's another level to it. So. Let's hop right into the next max match. And for the third match, we're going first yet again. And we got a pretty good hand here. We're going to start it off with the double summon. Special Fenrir. Get the unicorn. Normal summon Fossil Dyna. And just like that, they surrender. We're still going to get Vanity's Fiend out there just to protect it. Get double, no special summoning. But they said, nah, nah. So, let's hop right in to the last match. Alrighty, and for our last match, we are going second. And all these matches were in going from Diamond 5 to going to Diamond 4. That's what actually got me there. Okay, they get the Unicorn. Okay, the Birth. Alrighty, this is going to be a tough board. Big Wing Behemoth. Gazelle. Chimera Fusion. Okay. Polly. Okay, 
Okay, Chimera the King. Okay. Hornfield the Kotal. Sword Master the Fusion. That's it. Dang, that would have been unlucky if it was a different card, but we had two of the Vanity's Fiends, so we're chilling. Okay, Phantasm. Okay, they're gonna get rid of those, which kinda sucks because we did want to use Phantasm in the graveyard, but it's all good. Special Defender, use Change of Heart. Ooh, okay. That does negate, I believe, yep. So that takes something that I really wanted to do out of there, but we are going to be able to... Oh, never mind. We were about to banish that dude. Okay, they get the Mud Dragon just to not prevent that from such summoning. It's all good. We really need to get Vanity's Fiend on the board to prevent all the special summoning. Should have done that first, but we're lollygagging. Kestirithiosis. Still lollygagging. What am I doing? Oh, because I do want to special summon all this stuff before. But it's also allowing our opponent to special summon. So it will happen. Mud Dragon. Okay, we'll get a Vanity's Fiend now. But now they can't special summon anymore. They can't negate it though. Okay. Spinier. Let's get the Ogre. And they hit Surrender. Honestly, I was starting to cook, but like, I don't think they, I think they preemptively surrender, but it's all good. So let's hop right into the deck list. And for possibly one of the hated decks, we got three Fossil Dinas, three Vanity's Fiend. These, no special summoning, so you're chilling. Then we got one Fenrir, two Unicorns, one Ogre. Those are for going second. You do, you can special summon those and get something started. And then we got two Ethers and then two Erebus. We got three of the dude that I can't understand how to Anchamorphite. Let's go with that. This dude, you scale it and then you draw a card from it. And then you can special summon it and then use it to tribute for the Vanity's Fiend. We got two Change of Heart, two Double Summon, three Tenacity of the Monarchs, three Phantasm of the Monarchs. Two triple tactics talents, one catch the theosis, three domain of the true monarch. This thing is crazy, crazy, crazy. And then we got one pressure planet race soth, two march of the monarchs. This is crazy. Your tribute monsters cannot be destroyed by card effect. Also, neither player can target with card effects and cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. Like crazy. Then we got one catch to birth. And then three monarch stormfront this basically lets you tribute your opponent's monster to tribute for your cards and then we also changed the deck a little bit from what you saw in the other one we had three majesty's fiends also you could run three majesty fiend or three fossil dyna depending on kind of what you're going up against if they're just you really want to stop special summoning go with that but also with majesty's fiend you stop their effects from going off so it's a trade-off depending on what you want to do you could do either or but i hope you enjoyed this let me know what you guys think of the hated deck i think a lot of people dislike playing against these because they can't play anything but guess what if you sit there going second and your opponent takes 10 minutes let's say to set up a full board that when you try to play anything you can't it's basically the same thing so let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to it help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers but i'll catch everybody on the next one peace